you may want to put down that cup of coffee. Because what if I told you that your daily brew might contain traces of cockroaches? Yes, you heard that right. Roach fragments in your coffee. And even more shocking, governments around the world allow it. Stay with me. This isn't a conspiracy theory. It's real. And you've probably been drinking it for years. From farm to factory, storage to shipping, tiny intruders sneak their way into your food. And your coffee is one of the biggest victims. So why is this happening? How much is really in there? And is it even safe to drink? Let's dive in. When coffee beans are stored and processed in bulk, especially in large commercial facilities, they're often exposed to insects, including cockroaches, beetles, and mites. Even after cleaning, roasting, and grinding, tiny fragments remain, too small to notice, but still present. This isn't rare, it's incredibly common. And no, it's not just one shady factory somewhere. It happens across major brands, countries, and continents. So how much bug is legally allowed in your brew? According to the FDA's Defect Levels Handbook, yes, it's a real thing. Coffee beans can legally contain up to 10% of beans infested with insects or mold. Some reports estimate an average cup of coffee can contain up to 120 insect fragments. Sounds crazy? It's all considered aesthetic contamination. In other words, not harmful, just gross. So why on earth would the government allow this? Simple. Total elimination of insect matter is almost impossible at scale. It's not considered dangerous in small amounts, and banning it completely would make food more expensive and lead to more waste. It's a cost versus practicality game. In fact, this isn't unique to coffee. Peanut butter, chocolate, cereal, and even frozen vegetables have similar allowances. Is it dangerous? For most people, not at all. These insect fragments are roasted and sterilized, but there's a catch. If you have shellfish allergies, you could also be allergic to insect proteins, like chitin, found in cockroach shells. So if coffee makes you itchy or nauseous, you might want to pay attention to this. Want to avoid this bugged out brew? Buy from smaller, high quality roasters. Look for organic or premium beans. Choose brands with stringent quality control. And yes, clean your home grinder and storage area often. Bugs love those dark spaces. But truth be told, there's no 100% escape unless you grow, roast, and grind it yourself. So next time you sip your morning coffee, remember, you're not just waking up with caffeine. You're also getting a side of FDA-approved insect protein. Delicious, right? If you found this eye-opening, hit like, share with your coffee-loving friends, and subscribe for more wild truths hidden in your food. This is At The Nerve, and I just bugged your morning routine. Want to know what's really in your food? Next up, how many insects are in your chocolate bar? Subscribe, like, and comment. Do you still feel okay drinking coffee?